Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Oh my God, I cannot even. Okay, so I have the most special guest of all time on my channel. This is unreal. I have Drew Barrymore. I can't <laughs> even believe this. You have to know some backstory. I found her. I feel like we've known each other for a long time because many, many years ago, we would talk about flower beauty and there were no influencers like you and we were a new company. It's insane. I mean, I remember the moment like hearing that you had a makeup line and going and picking out items and- And you would like, go into the Walmart? Yes, yes. I'd go to Walmart, I'd make it my mission, I would try product out and to see you sitting here like with me so many years of later- Of course, like, I called her. So I was cool. like, can we do a tutorial? Can we hang out? What are we? What are you doing? Are you oh around? Gosh. I'm in town, are you? I love it. I've watched your whole evolution and it's just been amazing to me because I think that you're a part of what changed in the world. You know, without people like you, I don't think the beauty industry would be what it is. So there. Well, thanks. Hey, same to you because, you know, and I'm just going to get going. We're actually going to get ready together. Oh, like, yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, we um, came fresh gonna, faced. We're, we're I walked into her beautiful, amazing studio and we were going through everything and we're just fresh faced in mm -hmm. t shirts, little decolletage here. We're ready for the makeup. Um, I'm starting out with a <laughs> primer that you really love called In Your Prime Illuminating Primer. I'm just gonna start going for it, but I have to say, as far as paving the way and as far as innovating, what you did, oh, do I have hair? What you did going into Walmart with this brand that felt like it belonged on a counter in a department store. Thank you. You know, it really, like everything from the packaging, it felt like you had something really special. You guys know I have talked about flowers so many times on my channel and then I feel like you guys are at a bit of a turn yeah where the products that you're coming out with right now are even better in my opinion you're upping your formulas like it's getting better and better and better I think also it's about riding the wave of the consumer being so much more savvy because mm -hmm. of tutorials yes. YouTube influencers when we first started at Walmart if you had an exotic color in your palette, the palette itself usually didn't sell. Yeah. And it was always the nudes and the brown smoky eye palettes or the purples, like those always did well, but God forbid you put a green or a mm -hmm. blue. Like this right here, which I love. So I was really influenced by the YSL and the Chanel palettes in particular. Somehow in a four color palette, YSL and Chanel always managed to bring in like one color that would make you be inventive and play. And when I tried to do that at first at Walmart, it did not do well. Now we can do that because customers are so much more excited to have what Prestige has been doing for so many years well, at mass. And that is bring in like, cool colors. They have a guide. You can go online and be like lime green eyeshadow yeah. and kind of, you know, figure it out. If you want to try a color like that, you can, you have the tools to figure it out. Like eight years ago, none of this seemed possible. No. It all seemed like, you know, this crazy, am I supposed to be doing my makeup too? Uh -huh. I'm going to do my makeup the way I do it in real life, do, which is please just do. completely haphazard. The know? thing that I love about this and something that has become so important to me is illuminating under my eyes where the dark circles are so that when I put a concealer or a foundation, I'm working with a, a highlighter underneath my eyes. I need to try that. I don't feel like I went in as hard as you did with this illumination. Yeah, I go in hard because like, I, I look where, crazy I wanna, right I now. Hold on, it's going to get better. <laughs> okay, I'm going for my L3. This is great. This is the Light Illusion, and I'm using the shade M1 because I have a, a fake tan on. And I'm using um, L3. This formula has truly changed my life. I did one pump. So again, I'm gonna give it the pat, the pat pat. See, I can't get away from a sponge. This is what takes me the most time. I should probably be doing what you're doing. I like sponges and brushes. I just find that Quicker. I'm too disorganized. Like I can almost never find them. So I know I can always find my hands. <laughs> By the way, we have a beauty blender. It's, I know it's, it's a big, lavender, it's like purple and like squishy, and I it's need really it. good. I need it, but I'm if you put it submerged oh. in submerged in water, 
it will come out the size of this room. It's, just, I, it's oh, the wow. weirdest phenomenon I've ever seen. I need that. It's oh like if gosh. you want to blend out a dinosaur, <laughs> put this in water. In fact, my daughter brought home like dinosaurs you leave in water and they yeah, grow. And they grow and they turn into That's this. I love basically that. our beauty blender. Okay, I'm already on to concealer and I'm using the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. So my subscribers know that I'm super picky with concealer and this is new to me. I am surprised that I like this as much as I do because it's full coverage, but it almost, it just has this real natural finish to it that even in, um, I call the drop down mirror in your car, the mirror of truth because it is. Um, yeah, you, you, sometimes you know, what I see will make <laughs> me have an accident more than... But this won't. You will like your concealer. Like, it won't make you have an accident. You'll be like, oh, okay, like, this is looking good. Sometimes when I go hard with the concealer and then I look in the car mirror and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Like, step away. Too much. What are your top three? Like, if you Concealer, only... because concealer. I can do anything with it. If, yes. If I, like, had to forage for raspberries and cherries or a popsicle, I could create lipstick. If I could burn the end of a wine cork, I could make coal eyeliner. I really like how you think. Um, um, this is like, but concealer. But concealer, need, where am I finding that? Find that? Do I look crazy? Do I look no. super overly highlight? Not it at doesn't. All. No, okay. I promise you. Maybe it's the lighting, but now I'm like, no. oh my God, maybe I looks gorgeous. do look crazy. And honestly, Drew showed up with not a stitch of makeup on, and your skin has this like beautiful quality to it. It's just like very even. Like I'm working on getting rid of some like sun damage from. All the, naughty clear and all the naughty things I did in my past. But clear and brilliant laser really? treatment. It's incredible. It's changed my life. I love it so much. And mm. it helps because I have really bad melasma ever since having kids. I go out in the sun and I just oh, look immediately I go out brown spot. For like a minute and they show right back a up. A minute with and sunblock like, on. But the thing is sunblock makes me break out. Like me and sunblock, we do not get along. I have acne prone skin and it's just like my face explodes. I can't do it. That's so. sort of always my golden toss up. I'm like, do I mm -hmm. want pimples or brown spots? And I'm like, all out for brown spots. I know, right? Because pimples are... I know. And I'm like, I, do I don't mean to be vain, thing. but no, I really I do don't like thing. acne. It's like my Achilles heel. Oh. I feel like I'm not a vain person, and yet when it comes to acne, I'm like, don't look. Uh, something's very wrong with me. I have a white head. Okay, so I love the name of your brand. I know you have your uh, production company. Flower Films. Flower Films. Yep, I started it when I was 19. Yep. I've always loved working with the name Flower. A flower is one of those few things on planet Earth that humans can we see or give and no one's offended by it. When it just comes to the power of nature, I think flowers are so inherently true to beauty and skincare and femininity and women. They smell beautiful, they look beautiful, they're powerful. If you were to have a makeup line, would you name it after yourself or is well, there a certain... So I have my own brand. It's not color yet, maybe one day yet. far in the future because I have a lot of plans to expand on what we're doing and really focus on beauty from the inside out and you know skincare and all of that. So mine's Halo. That's, so I'm like, I'm the vitamin lady. I um, love that. Halo yeah, is also, yes. by the way, not, no one can say halo or yeah, think like, halo, ew, and halo. Be, and be angry or yes. take it the wrong way. Halo is what you get when you're good. Yes. I just love like Maybelline, Revlon. This, now it's a okay. lot of names, you know, yes. a lot of brands or names. Or just people, yeah. Bobby Brown, Marc Jacobs, mm -hmm. Laura Mercier. Yeah, I did not want to see my name on a, on a package. But I bet a lot of people would talk you just, into it because you know, of I, what you've okay. built. I did my little stamp, Exos Tati, which is not grammatically correct, but I'm like, no, but it means like lots of hugs and kisses. Oh, and yeah. that's, that is my stamp on the end of every single oh, one of please. my videos. Oh, please, in this Twitter, millennial, oh, yes. Instagram, like, universe, oh, people yes. are going to get, get on mad. you on grammar right now. Oh, they do. No. But I finally learned to just move through life off of what I'm passionate about and what I feel and not let everybody change the way that I feel. For better or for worse, you've really got yourself. That's something that I actually, like I feel like I still work on and even with makeup, like 
I love makeup and I'm unapologetic about it at this point, but it used to be almost like this dirty little secret that if you loved makeup too much, that that was as far as you went, your depth just wasn't there. And I just don't think that's true. The game has really- It's all changed. It's all changed. And a lot of that was due to technique expressiveness, it's all circular. What goes around comes around and it'll come back again. Trends in beauty even, you know, they're very come and go quick, but they'll be back around again. My prediction is yellow is the new eyeshadow. Oh, really? Yes, okay. it was pink, then it was green. I think you it's yellow. You heard it here first. I'm really going oh, for the mascara today. I'm kind of loving it though. Like I keep looking at you and you have this kind of doll-like vibe. I really love it. I, I'm like full going into the green right here. It's happening. The palette is called the Austin palette. Can we just like, for real though, you guys. I love that. Okay, I know I have Drew sitting right next to me, so it's not like I'm gonna be like, oh, well, this is just not my favorite, bah, bah, bah. No BS, like you can see how this is applying. I love it when it has dimension and texture. What are your go-to looks? Like when I think of you, I think of a red lip. I That's just like what I love see a red lip, because immediately, yes, it's immediately exciting. I'm, in fact, you've inspired me. Shockingly, I am gonna do more highlighter because I'll be crazy. So I have your setting sprays and I complain about this like all of the time. I don't like it when setting sprays come out like hairspray where it's just like this hard like mm -hmm. of like just like, and it kind of just like blasts you. Yep. And you can mess up your foundation. And this has the nice like, like it's just like, it kisses your face. It's just like gentle. You know? I am like, obsessed I with that. an Evian mist. Yep. I think the company I work with really did a great job on that. And whew. yes, they did. Because I don't think there's another spray at your price point that does that. I really just don't. Okay, so you were like glowing goddess over here. I, I, you were like I might, reaching for the glow. I might have gone too crazy, but you know what? But we're in this beauty space, and this is like where you can go crazy, so. I feel like a little yes. disco dolly right now. I'm going I'm for like a this. Jerry Hall Studio 54. Like, I want to put like a flower in my hair. What started that? Like, when was the first time that you wore a daisy in your hair? Because that was like your thing. Um... Uh, Right? And I copied you, just so you, you know. You did? I love it. We're all supposed to be wearing fresh flowers in our hair. When did I start doing that? You're like, I was born that way. No. I mean, God, I wish I came out of the womb with flowers in my hair. Little, little Daisy. Patty and I were talking about our petal pout lipstick earlier. Yeah. One of the best. Okay, so these are what made it into my best of the year at the drugstore. Like this was one of the best of the year at the drugstore lips. I'll link that video below. This is a really like solid, good lipstick. And you guys know I recently got rid of like a hundred nudes at the drugstore. And I kept five from Flower because I really think that you do have the formula down, but beyond that, um, the tone. Thank you. It's like spot on. She loves that we're both like talking. We're like, let's talk uh, while we put it on our lips. I love stuff. that color on you. This like is it with your warm, eyes. warm sand. I need mascara. Mascara. Oh, warrior mm -hmm. mascara. We have a sister this is new. product coming out with that too that I'm really excited about. This is when I literally say, why don't I put makeup on every single day of my life? And it's not because I work in the beauty industry or that I've been in a makeup chair my whole life. It's just out of sheer laziness. And when I see myself no, with makeup like on, I'm like, why don't you do that? Because when I see myself like this, I feel so much more you confident. Feel different, right? I do. It's like high heels on my face and oh my gosh, I love light that. reflecting from everywhere. And all of a sudden yes. I just want to like talk with my eyelashes like right the, like you like want to make more eye contact with everybody You're yes. just like hello i'm here yes where when you don't i feel the same way i'm like why like i don't know it just it does make me feel so different i feel like a different person and it's all due to the makeup i feel more attractive 
I think it's always good to walk into a room and not look for validation. To Again, feel it, like, like the opinions. But yes. yeah, just not yeah. even how. Ha- I think what I love about makeup is it takes away the insecurities out of your mind, so that it makes room for more interesting and important thoughts. Because you're not worried about than it. Then like you're not. Oh, you're, how do I look? Yeah. Makeup has the power to just eviscerate those less exciting and interesting thoughts that can take us down and it just kind of kicks its ass and you're all of a sudden working more like a badass from your own mind. I agree. That's what makeup does. That's what makeup does. It makes you work like a badass. I'm sure you experienced this working, you know, on set and all the years that you were in the makeup chair and like you visually can see people change. Like you can actually see someone walk differently posture differently, behave differently. And like, I see it even like with my own mom when I do her makeup. Like I was in ET and they would put like pigtails and the yarn in me, but you know, and they kind of do that little like, oh, you're so cute. Let me make you feel, you know, like, yeah. like you're a part of this, but you're six. So we don't really want to do makeup on you. But what I really noticed in that makeup trailer was that it was like being in the back of a ballet studio, like behind the curtain and watching this femininity. A lot of the women would come in with their scripts rolled up, not sort of awake yet, not caffeinated. And they would sit there and over the course of an hour, they would get these rollers put in their Mm -hmm. hair and the contour and the lashes and the things. And you would exactly what you said, see see their- like emerging thing. Their posture change. They would walk out with this confidence and elegance and grace. And it made this impression on me of this is what hair and makeup does to a woman. Mm -hmm. I think about that with influencers as they are pulling back that curtain and they're showing people how to transform and what that artistry is. And there is a reason it's called tutorials Mm -hmm. is you are literally giving people this gift of the technique and knowledge and showing it on yourself, the before and after, and it's captivating. That's what you're doing for people. That's what I hope I'm doing. That's what um, the plan is, you know? And also I just enjoy this. It's just like so good. Oh, you and your iced tea. I have a lot of beverages in this home and she wanders in and she's just got her like iced tea on hand. It's like, I'm like a St. Bernard with a you're rum just... keg. I just, if I could strap that thing to my face. Oh my gosh. I no, would. I'm all about it. If I'm I could all carry about a beverage, little. So yes. Should we set our faces? Like, yes. Let's do like the last mist. I can't. Right here. Thank you enough for like reminding me of the importance of beauty on a Tuesday afternoon when I was going to look at open houses and dropping my kids off at camp and, you know, just thinking about other things and to be put back into a mind frame that was more self-aware, confident, but like cleaning out the cobwebs. That I also actually... did this without a mirror and just did it in the Wait, camera. Wait, oh my gosh. I am a horrible host. No. I did not. You just did like the no mirror makeup challenge. Well, I had a and mirror for my know mascara. You, were doing it. <laughs> you did good for that. I right. love how you use the highlight, Me too. like on your eyes and your nose and your cheeks, and it's having this like. And I glow. haven't powdered yet. No, that's what I'm doing right here. This actually has no powder on it at all, and that's one of my tricks that I love doing. Oh, that if does look If you want to keep better. the skin dewy, thank you. Um, but you don't want to add, like, you don't want to smack that powder into the skin. You just use it blank and just kind of roll and lift what excess is there off. And then you're still like, look, you're like so glowy. Thank you. That really did help though. And Mm -hmm. also you kept all like the highlight areas. Yes. You don't touch those. You just kind of go in the areas where you need. No one wants shine like here. No. I definitely am more of a dewy. I want like, that's why I love this so much Mm -hmm. is because it remains sheeny. Mm -hmm. while having complete coverage. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not a big mattifier. And people think if you don't want matte, you don't want coverage, and that's not it at all. and that's actually really hard to find because it's true. Everything that's illuminating, it's very like tinted moisturizer, and you're like, did I even put anything on my face? Exactly. This does cover, but it doesn't like flatten out the complexion, so. My complexion looks completely different than the before. I used one pump, maybe a little, like of what was extra on here. And then I used this much illuminator, <laughs> this much foundation. I, I was the, like, I did like the illuminator. About it. No, but I like foundation. it. Foundation. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, 
Okay. Thank We're you for having me this. over, by the oh way. Oh my gosh, anytime. I did. I called. Anytime. I was like, can I come over and play and do makeup? Of course. Of course. So thank you, you for letting me come always. over. Oh my gosh, Drew, seriously, this is like a dream. And I am just like, I am beaming and so excited. And you guys... Leave kind comments below. Let us know what you thought of the video. Hit the thumbs up button. And I love you guys so much. Okay, so I always do like a kiss goodbye at the end of every video. So we love you guys. See you in the next video. Mwah.